everyone! Welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. I meant to do this video quite a while ago. Do you remember when I did the full swatch video of the 100% pure semi-matte lipsticks? Do you remember that? Me too. They came out with five new shades. And I think I mentioned it in a what's new video. I mentioned it somewhere. and I rem Or at least you guys were commenting, saying that you wanted to see the new shades. I've had them for a while, tucked into the back of the drawer, saying, Ashley, please watch me and share me with the world. So here we are. I'm not gonna get too much into like everything about the product. I've already done that big long video. I'll link it down below. This is more like an extension of that now that there are more shades. But I will quickly talk about the packaging and I'll talk about the way they feel on the mouth and if it's consistent with the way all the other shades are. So. Um, let's I'll quickly address the packaging and everything like I said so the packaging looks a little something like this she's cute it's very tiny I'm gonna show you guys like this you can sort of see the way you hold it in my hand like if I was to apply it like a lipstick it's not like freakishly small it's not a mini it's just a lot smaller this is about how much product you get in there as well it's very cute and the shade name is also on the bottom to help you differentiate all the shades I do wish that sticker on the bottom was sort of coordinating at least ever so slightly with the type of color that's inside because it makes it a little easier if you have a collection. And I, let me tell you, you're gonna want a collection because these lipsticks are awesome. They do retail for $29, so they ain't cheap, but it is 100% pure. So you know, there's nothing synthetic in these bad boys at all, all fruit pigmented, which is really, really cool. And these are, a, my favorite thing about them is the bold colors because they have this really nice, thin, matte texture that doesn't move all over the place, but feels very silicone-y, so it has a lot of slip to it. It's very comfortable. Over time, it will get a sort of thinness to it, but you will still have that layer of color, but it will get a little bit drier throughout the day. But when you reapply it, that silicone-y slip allows it to have a little bit more cushion to it. But of course, I'm a big fan of the gloss or a lip balm, throw those on top if you really just can't handle a matte lip, but these are very, very fabulous, specifically the bold shades, like the one I'm wearing right now, but we'll get there. We're ending with that. So let's get right into the new shades. Lots of very wearable ones, and first and foremost is the shade Mirage, and Mirage is just a beautiful pink, quite pale. For me, I think I do want, um, not pale, no, that's not the word. It's just a very true pink. It's sometimes I don't know how that works on me. I don't know how I feel about it sometimes. But lip liner, it does it all. 100% pure, some great lip liners too. I'll link that video down below. It's just a good, not quite mid-tone, but knocking on mid-tones, doorstep type of pink. I think a lot of you guys would really get down with that color, to be honest with you. Next, we have the shade Cassia, which honestly is so similar. It's maybe like a fraction of a bit more purple. You definitely don't need both of these. However, if you have a preference on tone, I would say Mirage is maybe a little warmer. I'm sorry, I'm looking at them in the mirror. So I can really make my mind up. Maybe a little warmer, and then Cassie is maybe a little bit more cool tone, but they both are that good wearable type of pink shade that I think a lot of you guys will really get down with. Then we have the shade Sahara, and Sahara is actually really, really beautiful. Um, it's darker than the other two, and um, again, has a little tiny touch of purple to it, which I think is really pretty, incredibly wearable. It looks more purple on my mouth than it does on the swatch in my humble opinion. Then moving along, we do have the shade Wine Cup. So now we have a couple more dark ones, um, but this one's not too dark, and this one is the most purple. Again, this is very similar to Sahara. A little bit darker, so it's just a personal preference type of thing. That is more of like a true purple, and Sahara is a little bit more pinky tone, but Wine Cup is really pretty, especially for the spring and summer. I think that's a really good shade. It reminds me of like 27 Kisses with like way more purple, maybe like 27 Kisses and just like Jade had a baby. That's from Nudist, by the way. I love comparing my lipsticks. You guys know that. And then finally is the shade Nopal. Um, which is the beautiful, really true red shade I have in my mouth. And if you watch my other video, you guys know I love Sonora. It is a beautiful red shade, but um, it's more warm toned, like a neon red. This is very true tone, like true tone, blue toned, makes your teeth look nice and white. Look at that. Oh, I really like it with this color. I'm feeling my sort of 1940s fantasy. But that is it new color wise, you guys. You know I love them. Watch the original video if you wanna know why I love them so much. 
I gave you a little bit of reasons why, but check that video out. And then also there are way more colors than this. They have so many colors, bolds, nudes, everything in between. Um, really, really fantastic find for me last year. Really have been loving these lipsticks consistently and I'm obsessed with this red shade. I think I might need a full size of that one. A matte red is just key. But if you guys really like these new shades, please do give, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I know I put them on my mouth in the video, but I do an arm swatch every time I do one of these videos in that description box down below so you guys can see what I'm working with. You can see them in relation to each other because a lot of these, they're a little samey samey, some of them, um, but it's more like a personal preference. I do like the differences in tone because one tone doesn't work for everybody. So it's nice that they added that to the line. I'm excited about it. Have you tried any of these new shades? Let me know. What shade is your favorite if you're already familiar? Don't forget the original video is going to be down below as well. And all of our social media is always down there. So please do check us out. We're everywhere. I want you to come hang out with me. Most importantly, comment, subscribe, like. You already know the drill with that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.